All right, so a very big welcome to this particular platform, Penax TV. So we brought you an update a few months ago about a Nigerian socialite who goes by the name Killer Boy. Many even believe he's an artist on his own. And the news regarding this guy or this gentleman, Killer Boy, was that he killed his own girlfriend. Now, the lady you are watching or uh, the pictures is being shown on the screens. This particular lady is unfortunately the victim here. And unfortunately for her, she's no more part of us because she was killed by her own boyfriend. So this whole thing... It's a bit mind-boggling. And for those of you who are watching, you ask yourself, how could somebody do something so um, so mean, so evil? What's the backstory? Well, today, there's a good story to this particular backstory, uh, which means the person or killer boy, uh, the one behind the death of this beautiful lady who goes by the name Oster XSO on Instagram, killer boy, the main suspect, have been arrested. And it, it really shocked you to the bone later when we revealed where he was arrested and even how he was arrested. This guy was living amongst we Africans after committing this senior crime. And for almost three months, nobody knew he was the one. He was concealing his own identity. Let me give you a backstory for those of you who don't know what is really going on. So, last few months, we had a very sad news that this particular Nigerian guy, he's that's his picture on the left side of the screen. Uh, his name is Killer Boy. That is what he's known for. We don't know the job he actually does, but on social media, we see him flaunting cars, going on expensive vacations, uh, flying private jets, and even uh, living in uh, extravagant and expensive suits and hotels. So what did this guy do? Information richness, which came earlier last three months, indicates that uh, he had an argument with a girl. The girl apparently they've been dating for a year or two. And this argument that they had, they had uh, the girl allegedly broke up with the guy. You know, they had this whole back and forth. So uh, the guy pleaded with the girl to come down to Lagos because during that time, uh, it was believed that the girl was now brought probably somewhere in the States. So when the girl got to Nigeria, this guy, you know, just like any other guy will, will do, we want to beg, we want to amend things and just carry on with the relationship. So this girl um, got a test from uh, Killer Boy that, hey girl, you know, we've had our back and forth. I'm begging you. I want you to come over so I will talk when you come from the States. You know, this whole back and forth, this pleading thing, the girl said, okay, you know, if you've dated for a while. So um, if you want us to talk about relationship, even if you part ways, we can still remain friends. So the girl just gave in and the girl hopped into the this guy's expensive suit. We are we are we are we are learning that this this guy's expensive suit or where he was living as at that time was in Lekki. So this girl went to uh, this guy's apartment, and we have been told that this apartment is a heavy one, a very extravagant and expensive one as such, huge one. Uh, so this girl uh, went to his embroiled or perhaps. Um, ex-boyfriend's house to sort out things for good and even see how they can you know uh, come out of all of this whole bruhaha uh, clean once and for all and when the girl went there apparently things were good but then the next day or so uh, they had an argument and during this argument uh, the guy apparently got angry and then he took the life of the girl but there's this thing which is very fascinating most of you are not getting the backlog to this story when this guy took the life of this girl he went on social media to post it himself you know post that uh, he's done something really crazy and what he's done is really going to land him uh, behind bars because he's just committed uh the heinous atrocity of his life so what's this heinous atrocity he killed a girl but there's more to it after this gentleman killed his own girlfriend, Oster SSO, he proceeded to cut the lady's body parts. So he had this guy chopping off the girl's hands, the girl's tank. Recall, the body parts I'm talking about are vital parts, which I'll, uh, which I'll explain later in this video why he took those parts. So he took off the girl's tank, took, uh, took, took off the girl's private part, took off the girl's nipples, that's the S girls, and basically certain essential part that's we don't know why the guy took it. So after that, he came on social media to post a whole lot of things and rants that he's just committed the um, atro the most mind-boggling thing or most evil thing that he could ever do. He narrated what he did and he said before the Nigerian police or any person, mind you, all this happened in Nigeria, before the Nigerian police or authorities will come for him, 
he just want people to know that he did not do it on purpose it was out of anger he didn't know what he did even proceeded to say that uh, to even reply on social media that those who are replying that he used the girl for rituals and all of that it, it's not true so the police got this and the mother of this particular lady uh, who currently is, is in mourning i uh, saw this whole banter on social media at first she thought it was one of those games that killer boy usually um, one of those stands that he usually plays so uh, he took a number of policemen uh, they tried calling the daughter they couldn't get in touch and then the police actually went to this guy's apartment and lo and behold when they barged into the apartment forcefully they realized that this particular young lady was lying uh, in a pool of blood on the floor and most of the parts of the body parts have been chopped off remember the private parts forgive me the vagina the nipples the thang and other vital parts of her body were taken off and the girl was basically there so then there was a manhunt for this guy and this guy was basically posting as at the time that police were searching for him he was posting and trying to explain himself people were attacking him for doing that and people were even uh, saying that he did that because he was a ritualist and all along he was not in his rights and he was possessed so he thought the girl was one of those people you know the use in getting rituals that's why he did that and the guy who had just committed this uh, atro- evil act this huge atrocity was even replying uh, to people on twitter on instagram trying to defend his actions that people should hear him out before he comes out and boom we never saw this guy so three months no one knew of the whereabouts of killer boy then boom today news came in so what's the news which have come in and this news is really uh something that a lot of people are like okay 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 dear it's getting interest so this guy we the nigerian police was unable to get hold of him but today we got a breaking news now this particular breaking news that we got was this guy whose name is killer boy has been arrested and mind you was arrested in sierra leone sierra leone which is an uh, a country in west africa and this is after uh so many man hands by the nigerian authorities and this guy was arrested so the question is how did this guy even go to sierra leone in the first place and how long has he been covering his tracks and doing all of these things so basically according to the lagos state police uh, public relations officer who goes by the name benjamin hudin uh, hundain he confirmed that indeed uh killer boy was the person who was arrested and even they are in touch with the Sierra Leonean authorities on how to extradite him back to Lagos. So, according to him, uh, this man basically, after killing the ex girlfriend, was able to secure a passport, uh, a Sierra Leonean passport, which cost around $25,000. Now, after he had purchased this particular passport, he found himself in Sierra Leone in Sierra Leone and all this while he was living in Sierra Leone enjoying his life and doing all sorts of things in Sierra Leone then something happened during all of these things he further went on to change his identity he changed his name he changed uh, his looks he changed everything about him but you see you can never ever stop the truth from coming out so during all of these whole back and forth that this guy was trying to cover his tracks during this time the girls uh, the late girl's mother that's uh, Oxta SSO's mother was busily posting on social media this guy's picture parading that we need this guy we are searching for him then a Sierra Leonean who really uh, follows all of this realized that this guy is just living around our beach he is living um, at the wealthy part of Sierra Leone and he's always clubbing and stuff so he alerted uh, the authorities and even contacted the human rights organization a human rights organization in Lagos about this issue and then they confirmed that perhaps they will really go on and arrest this guy to really verify if it is him and boom on a faithful day while this guy was clubbing clubbing okay he was pubbing and chilling in the club uh, the police actually pounced on him and arrested him and after fellow uh, further interrogation they realized that indeed this was killer boy and immediately uh, the process began to extradite him back to nigeria or bring him back to nigeria to face charges for the heinous crime that he committed now the girlfriend as at that time was 21 years old and this whole case was committed uh or this whole atrocity happened on july 13 2023 so you can see that in the, in the span of just three months uh that's july i guess september october almost three months this murder had gone on so but then uh lo and behold this girl's spirit is really working and at the end of the day this 26 year old man being the suspect killer boy was arrested uh after this particular heinous crime now 
on your screens you see basically uh, some of the things he posted uh, so this is an update this is the passport that killer boy used as you can see he changed his passport to the republic of sierra leone and after that he this him being arrested with his phone a uh, very evil boy and he's in handcuffs now he was arrested 2 a.m after partying in the club now furthermore this statement goes on to read that a businessman nyanguru best was declared wanted by uh, ben houdin for killing his girlfriend uh, so this guy changed his name in nanyegun best he has changed his name okay uh, from killer boy to young best and then uh, he was declared wanted for killing his girlfriend osta osidin aka osta sso on instagram a student of lead university uh, a student of city lead city university has been arrested in sierra leone after committing the act he spent over twenty five thousand dollars purchasing a sierra leonean passport he changed his name to kanu Princeton Samuel. Okay, so his name was actually uh, Inna Yeringu Best and he changed it to Kanu Princeton Samuel. His photo has been posted on social media by the girls from the someone in Sierra, Le Sierra Leone identify him. Mr. Femi Falana contacted and informed the Lagos police which declared him wanted. He was nabbed at a nightclub in Freetown yesterday. So for clarity, the $25,000 was, wasn't just uh, for the Sierlinian passport alone, but was for whatever he spent on getting a new life for himself and even changing his identity. So this guy, after committing this heinous crime, he went back to his business and foolishly enough, he went clubbing. You know, he's done it. He has no remorse and he's chilling. And I thank God people like this are going to be uh, behind bars for the rest of their life because it needs to happen to serve as a deterrent to others who would like to engage in this heinous act. As you can see, here's the statement from the Lagos Police Command when they declared him wanted Benjamin Best in Yanguru wanted. Uh, the Lagos State Police Command hereby declares wanted Benjamin Best in Yanguru. In Yanguru is a suspect to have uh, murdered his girlfriend, so it's one year old Augusta in Yanguruba uh, Osidion. So, that is it. This was the statewide alert of his one him be declared him, him being declared wanted, and finally he has been nabbed. So this is a, this is a series of messages he posted uh, the day that he killed the girlfriend and took the uh, the innocent life of his, of his girlfriend. Realize here that he posted a whole series of messages which he explained uh, earlier in this video that he was trying to justify his act. He was trying to explain what really happened and even how remorse uh, he was. But clearly he being found at a nightclub basically it doesn't show his remorse he does it because if you really are remorseful you turn yourself in you face justice and give the family closure to this particular case so he was posting all of these things and boom he deleted his accounts and nobody saw him again until he was nabbed in a nightclub in freetown syria Lou. so this is the update you are giving to our fellow uh, listeners who are watching and following this case this girl is going to get justice she's a 21 year old beautiful uh, model and she her life has been cut short just because she chose to love someone we'll give you more updates as all of this before we leave please subscribe subscribe because we will be giving you the part three part three of this particular update